Good morning. This is Alan Burgos. Welcome to our lecture. We will be discussing today our worksheets and workbook that can be applicable in Visual Basic for application. Application Threader, how can we manipulate this uh, worksheets and workbook using Visual Basic for application? Okay, so what you can see on the screen is the Microsoft Excel 2016. Okay, and then what we will do is to go to the developer tab. Okay, developer tab. And then we will go to the Visual Basic so that we could have the Visual Basic for application. Okay, now we will insert a module, insert a module for us to code. Okay, um, okay let, uh, let us try to uh, resize this one. So that we can see the Microsoft Excel. Okay, so um, yeah, we have the Microsoft Excel here and we have the Visual Basic for applications here. Okay, now what if I would like to add a worksheet? Okay, this one, Sheet 1, is the default worksheet name, right? When we click this plus sign, it will add, let's try this one first, okay? It will add to the right, okay? But if we try to, um, for example, sub testing, uh, test, testing, okay? And then I would like to add a sheet, sheets dot add, okay? And then click enter. When I press the F5 key on the keyboard, okay, it will run. But instead of adding the worksheet on the right, it we it added on the left. Okay. Now, what if I would like to delete the? Uh, what if I would like to delete uh, sheet three, for example? What do I need to do? Sheets. Okay. Dot. Right. This one. I'll use the other. This this method. Um, Sheet three. Yeah, there are sheet that delete. Yeah, there are. Okay. Now I will and um, comment on this so that it will not be added on the code. Okay, and then press F five. There is a warning or confirmation. You can undo deleting sheets, etc. So just click on delete. Okay, it the sheet three was deleted. Okay, so let's uh, let's comment on this so that it will not be added on the next line. What if I would like to delete sheet two again? Uh, sheet two directly like that. Sheet three, sheet two delete. Okay, press F5 on the keyboard. Okay, it will be deleted. Okay, so something like that. What if, okay, I would like to add, okay, I would like to add the, uh, what do you call that? The, the sheet on the right, not on the left. What do I need to do? This one, this is the sheets that add, okay, all right, after, after. After colon equal sign, all right? Uh, sheets, sheets, okay. Sheets, all right. Sheets that count, okay. All right, let's try this one. If this will work out or, or not, uh, okay. Let, let us try to press F5. On the keyboard, look at this, huh? sheet 4. Okay, maybe you would ask, uh, where is the sheet 3 and sheet 2? Remember, we deleted that, no? We deleted that using this one, right? We changed the sheet 3, sheet 2, and then we, we deleted it, okay? And that's the reason why, no? All right, now, okay, so we are done with that. What if there is confirmation, right, when we delete, right? When we delete. So, for example, sheet four, 
will be deleted. Okay? When we try to run this one, this, this line of code, what will happen is, um, not, not right away, we, it will delete the sheet 4, not right away. Um, Microsoft Excel we, will issue you a confirmation. Uh, you need to confirm that really indeed uh, you want to, to, to uh, you want to delete that particular worksheet because why why there is why there is a confirmation because if you don't if there is no confirmation maybe you will be accidentally deleting delete that particular worksheet so what if you have important data there so that is the problem no okay but for the sake of this demonstration what if you don't like what if you don't like to have a confirmation okay uh, what what do you need to do? Okay, now this one. Okay, so before this, it should have application application uh, display alert. Okay, display. Yeah, there are display alerts is equal to false or true. Okay, let's try first this one application that display alert equals to false. What do I need to do? Okay, run this one. Okay, what happened? Okay, so there it deleted without confirmation. What if there is a confirmation? Okay, uh, for example, true. All right, what would happen? Let's add first uh, another. Uh, let's try to delete sheet five. Okay, what would happen? Okay. F5, yeah, there is a confirmation, okay? So false, uh, there, there, should, um, there are no, uh, there is no uh, confirmation, and the other one, there is confirmation, okay? Now, so we are done with that, okay? Now, what if I would like to, um, to assign, this is our active, uh, active sheet, right? Okay, I would like to, what I would like to have is to assign a name here. Okay, for example, happy birthday. So what do I need to do? Okay, this is the code. Let us first um, comment on this so that it will not be included. Okay, now active sheet, active sheet, that name, that name is equal to happy Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, now active sheet. Tab color is equal to VB blue. Okay, something like that. Okay, let's try to look at this. Okay, now F5 on the keyboard. Right, the active sheet is 6, 6. Sheet 6, right? Like I said, let's try to look at this. Object doesn't support the property or method. Why? Okay, tab, tab color. All right. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I got it. Okay, there should be a uh, separated by... Uh, that there, okay, let's try to look at this, F5 on the keyboard, there you are, okay, look at this, huh? happy birthday, active sheet, that name is equal to happy birthday, active sheet, dot, dot tab, that color is equal to VB blue, what if I want, I want that to VB red, okay, VB red, okay, press F5, there you are, VB red, okay, what if I click on sheet 1, all right, and then let's go there. Uh, thank you. Okay, something like that. And then this is VV orange. There is there an orange there? All right, orange. Okay, and then press F5 on the keyboard. Look at that. Beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, beautiful. All right, um, VV orange. Wait, lang. VV, VV. Blue. Let's try VB blue. F5. 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 There you are. Blue. 
Okay? That's the beauty of that. Beautiful. All right. How about workbook? All right. Workbook. I would. Uh, this is um. Uh, wait lang. This is uh, book one. What if I would like to have? Um. What What if I would like to have? Where is that? Wait lang. What if I would like to have another workbook? Okay. Um. Uh, because. Okay. What if I would like to have a workbook? This This is the code. Work, workbooks that add something like that. Okay, all right. Workbooks that add. Okay, let's try to run. All right, there you are. And now we have another book or workbook, book two. All right, the, the last time that uh, the last um, workbook was book one, this one, book two. Okay, what if I would like to close the active workbook? Active work. Active work book that close. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Um let me just um comment on this so that you know uh it will not be included. Okay, press F5 on the keyboard. What happened? It deleted the last workbook. Book two. Okay. All right. Uh thank you very much. If you learned something on this tutorial, um join me, please. Um so please do like. Okay, uh, hit the notification bell, bell uh, share it, and just subscribe it to this, to this channel, hashtag Walk with Lan. Again, this is Alan Burgos. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day and God bless.